Hi, my name is Jeffrey. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up analytics in the UMarketing Suite. Uh, make sure you've installed the UMarketing Suite and you've set up a valid license. The setup of the UMarketing Suite is probably the easiest thing you're gonna do today. Because if you install it, it just works out of the box. In this uh, installation, you'll see that there's a, a default Umbraco website. If you take a look at this website, you can see that there's an About Us page. If you would visit this page, and would go to the back office of Umbraco and click on the About Us page, you will see the tab Analytics. And here you see that there were two page views today. If I refresh this page now, wait for a second and refresh this page once more, you will see that there are now three page views recorded. As you can see, you don't have to do anything to set up server-side tracking in analytics. If you want to track client-side events as well, for example, the scroll depth of a page, uh, outclicks to different websites, or uh, video plays and stops, you should install the client-side uh, analytics script. That's easily done if you open your installation and you go to your master template. In this case, it's master.cshtml, but in your case, it could be a different, um, different file. And you browse to the folder assets, you marketing suite scripts. Here you can see that there's an analytics script. If you make sure you install it just before the, uh, the body tag ends and you save this file, client side events will be uh, stored as well. These client side events are stored at the moment, uh, but not visualized in this version of the marketing suite. Probably around June, you will see this client side, these client side events as well in the back office. To explain a bit more in detail how the processing of the data works, we're going to take a short look at the database. There are two tables that are especially important. First, the raw page view table, and second, the raw client side data table. When the UMarketing suite is set up correctly, all page views are recorded in this table. You can list it backwards. And here you see that each um, page view is recorded. If you want to verify if your, uh, your marketing suite is installed correctly, you should take a look at this page. And if you want to test whether the client side data works as expected, you should uh, look at this page. If there isn't anything listed, you probably haven't set up the, uh, the client side scripting correctly. If you go back to the raw page view table again, you will see all the page views are listed and there are two columns that are important to determine whether the processing has started and finished, namely processing started, where you can see when, when the processing started and when it was finished. The next thing I want to show you is how you can set up IP filters in the back office. If you go to the marketing section and go to the settings section, you will see a tab called IP filters. Within the IP filter section, you can exclude IP addresses that you don't want to be listed in your analytics. For example, your uh, IP address from your work or your home, because it will mess up your data if you will see those uh, uh, analytics data as well. You can create a new IP filter by clicking create new IP filter. You can give it a name work address, for example, and a short description. And you can list an, uh, a list of IP addresses. For example, this address and another one. Or you can specify a regular expression if you want to execute a list of IP addresses at once. Once you save it, the traffic of these IP addresses won't be recorded anymore. You can edit that and delete it later, uh, but for now it's set up. Okay, that was it for now. I've shown you quite fast how you can set up analytics, how you can track client-side events, 
how you can set up IP filters and on a basic level how the processing of the data works, which table you should check if you're wondering whether you've set it up correctly. Thank you for this moment. I will see you the next time when we dive deeper into analytics.